This is a list of some notable Jamaicans who died in 2019. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! From former Prime Minister Edward Siaga to popular broadcaster Doreen Samuels, 2019 saw the deaths of many Jamaicans who made an impact in a wide variety of ways that captured our attention. Some of those who left us include Zandria Bailey, Miss Jamaica Universe 2014 finalist. Zandria Bailey died in January after a long battle with lupus. The 29-year-old Bailey died in a New York hospital where she was being treated for the ailment. Bailey, who was diagnosed with lupus in 2012, lost her mother to the autoimmune disease in 2014. The same year she became a finalist in the Miss Jamaica Universe pageant. Ken Barr, former Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Ken Barr, died in September at age 78. Barr, christened Kenneth Lee O'Neill Barr, was also a former Minister of Health, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, and Member of Parliament for the West Central St. Catherine constituency, representing the Jamaica Labour Party. He had been sick for quite some time before his death, having done brain surgery some years ago. He was a very well-respected politician. Paul O'Beal Playwright Paul O'Beal died of a suspected heart attack in November. He was 57 years old. Over two decades ago, Beal created the character Del Cita for his production Mr. Dweet Nice. The role has been played with gusto by actress Andrea Wright in hit plays such as Granny Rule 1 and 2, The Driver, Courthouse Drama, The Plumber, Over My Dead Body, Bashman Granny 2 and 3, The Politician and The Under Me Nose series. He also wrote TV productions Joint Tenant, Let's Make Peace and Domino Effect and also co-wrote the romantic film Destiny with stars singers Christopher Martin. Karine Sang and Kadeem Wilson. Tony Becker, veteran sports journalist and author. Tony Becker died in February at the age of 78. He was reportedly being treated for dengue around the time of his death and developed complications. Becker, who was sports editor at the Gleaner Company for many years, was best known for his coverage of cricket. He covered the sport for more than 40 years. Linville Bloomfield, Eastern Portland Member of Parliament, Dr. Linville Bloomfield, was found stabbed to death inside his Pasley Gardens Portland home in February. His death triggered the highly publicized by-election in which Jamaica Labour Party's Anne-Marie Vaz defeated the People's National Party's Damian Crawford to wrestle away the PNP's 30-year-old of the East Portland constituency. Winston Bowen Veteran lead guitarist Winston Bo P. Bowen died of a heart attack at his home in Jamaica in March. He was 62 years old. Bo P. was one of reggae's premier lead guitarists who toured extensively, bringing the positive side of Jamaica's culture to the four corners of the earth. He played alongside Dean Fraser in the band 809 with Lloyd Parks and We The People. Uprising Roots and Inner the Yard alongside Winston McNuff and Earl China Smith. Laurie Broderick, former Member of Parliament for Northern Clarendon, representing the Jamaica Labour Party. Laurie Broderick died in September. Broderick is famously remembered for the shot defeat he inflicted on the PNP's Horace Daly in the 2007 general election to take the North Clarendon constituency, a strong PNP seat. Noel Brown. Noel Bonnie Brown, the former lead singer of reggae band The Chosen Few, died in February after a battle with cancer. Glenn Brown, veteran singer and producer Glenn Muir Brown, died in New York in October. He was 75 years old. The musician nicknamed Riddy Master and Godson had been battling renal failure for a number of years before his death. Victor Chang, Former lecturer in the Department of Literatures in English at the University of the West Indies, Dr. Victor Chang died in December 
after ailing for some time. Chang served the department and the university for 32 years, according to the UA website, noting that he served on several committees during his tenure and at various periods sat on high-level bodies within the university as a university council, campus council, senate, academic board, and finance and general purposes committee. Ken Chaplin Veteran journalist Ken Chaplin died in July. He was 89 years old. Chaplin, who had a decades-long career in media, entered the profession in 1947 when he was just 17 years old. He would go on to make a name for himself in his chosen profession, serving two stints as president of the Press Association of Jamaica along the way. Tarania Clark National Senior Women's Football Representative Tarania Plum Plum Clark was stabbed to death in October. She was only 20 years old. Clark was the captain of the Waterhouse Football Club in the local Women's Premier League and last represented Jamaica in the Caribbean leg of the Olympic qualifiers in October. Raymond Clough Prominent attorney at law Dr. Raymond Clough died in September after a battle with cancer. He was 71 years old. Aston Cook Popular playwright Aston Cook died in February at the age of 61. Cook was one of the principals of Crown of Beauty Jamaica Limited, which owns the Miss Jamaica World franchise. He is a recipient of 10 National Actor Boy Awards for outstanding achievement in Jamaican theatre and an inductee to the Caribbean Hall of Fame for Arts and Culture. In 1985, Cook was responsible for writing the first episode of Oliver at Large for Jamaica's King of Comedy, Oliver Samuels, which became Jamaica's most successful scripted television series to date. Noel Dexter Renowned choir director and composer Noel Dexter passed away in August at age 80. He was the director of the University Singers at the University of the West Indies Mona from 1997 to 2012. J. Ravers J. Ravers, a member of the popular Ravers Clavers dance group, died on July 14 of an undisclosed illness. He was just 21 years old. Keshan Dancehall artist Keshan was shot and killed in July during a dispute with a licensed firearm holder, said to be her lover. The artist, whose real name was Kenesha Brown, was known for her songs such as Bubbly A Body, Kill or Die, and The Goods, all of which she recorded with incarcerated dancehall superstar Vibes Cartel. Rodyard Lawson Former Member of Parliament for South West St. Catherine, Rodyard Era Lawson, died in June at age 80. He represented the People's National Party in the St. Catherine seat for two terms, from 1976 to 1980 and from 1993 to 1997. Having beaten the JLP's Bruce Golding in 1976, Lawson was in turn defeated by Everall Warmington, the current holder of the seat in the 1980 polls, which the JLP won by a landslide. Bev Lopez former president of the private sector organization and the Jamaica Exporters Association. Bev Lopez passed away in November. She was remembered as a trailblazer. Lopez headed the PSOJ from 2003 to 2006. In 2002, she was honored with the Order of Distinction, Commander Class, and was conferred with the Order of Jamaica in 2006. Ronald Mason Immigration attorney and commentator Ronald Mason died in April after a battle with colon cancer. He was 72 years old. Mason was a former Jamaica Gleaner columnist and also hosted a talk show on a nationwide news network. Gordon Meehan Phillips Football juggling master Gordon Meehan Phillips, more popularly known as Gaga or Gorgon, was shot and killed during a reported attempted robbery in May. Meehan Phillips was a master juggler who started as an attacking midfielder for the Bob Marley-sponsored football team House of Dread in the 1970s. He then represented the 12 tribes of Israel where he was known as Zebulon in midfield. Charles Moore 
businessman and the People's National Party stalwart Dr. Charles Charlie Moore died in March. The owner of Moore's Transport Services Limited has been described as a pioneer in the public transport sector and is credited with establishing the first privately owned and registered public transport company in the country. Eileen Perkins Former radio producer Vivian Eileen Perkins died in July. She was a producer of popular talk show Perkins Online, hosted by her husband Wilmot Motty Perkins. She was the writer of popular radio soap opera series Dulcimania, Her Life in Town, which aired on JBC. Renford Pinnock Former Jamaica cricketer Renford Pinnock died in November at age 82. A right-hand batsman and wicketkeeper, Pinnock represented Jamaica between 1964 and 1975 during which he scored 2,644 runs at an average of 41.31. He scored 6 centuries and 1650s during his career. Jamali Powell Premier League footballer Jamali Powell died as a result of a suspected heart attack while jogging in July. His body was discovered on a football field near the Sanguinetti Primary School in Spalding's Clarendon. The 30-year-old represented teams in the Super League and Premier League and also represented Jamaica in beach football. Louis Rankin Actor and recording artist Louis Rankin, famous for his role as gangster Teddy Brookshot in the cult movie Shutters, died in a car accident in Ontario, Canada in September. He was 66 years old at the time of his death. Pat Rousseau Prominent attorney at law and former president of the West Indies Cricket Board, Patrick Pat Rousseau died in April after ailing for some time. He spent more than five decades at the law firm Myers, Fletcher & Gordon and was WICB president from 1996 to 2001. Rousseau is credited as being instrumental in the signing of a then record international television deal for the WICB with Sky Sports and convincing the International Cricket Council to stage the ICC Cricket World Cup 2007 in the Caribbean. Doreen Samuels Veteran broadcaster Doreen Samuels died in March after a battle with cancer. She was 59 years old. Samuels is a former long-standing anchor of TVJ's Primetime News, a role she held up to January 2019. She joined RGR Radio shortly after she was placed fifth in the Miss Jamaica World Competition in 1980. Edward Siaga Former Prime Minister Edward Siaga died on the 28th of May on his 89th birthday in the United States where he had been receiving treatment for cancer. Siaga served as Prime Minister of Jamaica between 1980 and 1989. He was the last surviving member of the framers of the Jamaican constitution. He served as Jamaica Labour Party leader for 31 years and as member of parliament for West Kingston for 43 years, from 1962 until his retirement in 2005, the longest ever by a Jamaican politician. Martin Henry, noted educator and political commentator Martin Henry, passed away suddenly in May. He collapsed moments after leaving the TVJ studios, where he commented on the passing of former Prime Minister Edward Siaga earlier that day. He was pronounced dead at hospital. Henry, who was 61 years old at the time of his death, was a long-serving columnist for the Jamaica Gleaner newspaper. Glenville Shaw Former Member of Parliament for South West St. Anne, the People's National Party's Glenville Shaw died in August. Shaw, who famously defeated Jamaica Labour Party stalwart and a long-standing MP Dr. Neville Gallimore in the 1997 general election, died in the United Kingdom after a period of illness. Owen Sinclair, former member of parliament for Western Westmoreland and a former Custis of Westmoreland, Owen Oriori Sinclair died in February. Sinclair was also a popular businessman who operated Sinclair's Bargain Center. Franklin Chappie St. Juice Veteran filmmaker Franklin St. Juice, affectionately called Chappie, died in November after a battle with cancer. 
he was 89 years old. St. Jude's has been lauded for his work on such iconic Jamaican films as The Harder They Come and The Children of Babylon, for which he was a director of photography. Mark Stamp Veteran sports journalist Mark Stamp died in June. Stamp, who worked for several media entities nationally over the years, including The Gleaner, The Herald, The Enquirer, and The X News, suffered from ill health for some time and was found dead at his home in Marvelly, St. Andrew. Wendell Stewart, former North Trelawney Member of Parliament Wendell Bulbul Stewart, died in November after ailing for some time. He was the People's National Party's parliamentary representative between 1997 and 2002. Cynthia Thompson Trailblazing Jamaican 1948 Olympian Dr. Cynthia Thompson died in March at the age of 96. Dr. Thompson, a past student of the St. Hughes High School, shares the distinction of being one of the four women on Jamaica's first Olympic team in 1948. She qualified for the 100 meter finals and the semi finals of the 200, making her Jamaica's first female finalist in an Olympic event. She set an Olympic record in the 200 eats, which was eventually broken by the gold medal winner. Douglas Vaz, former industry and commerce minister Douglas Vaz, a four term Jamaica Labour Party member of parliament, died in November at the age of 83. He is the father of current West Portland Member of Parliament and the Cabinet Minister Daryl Vaz. DJ Venom, famed FM radio personality and disc jockey Raymond Peart, more popularly known as DJ Venom, was one of two persons who died in a crash along the Spanish Town Bypass in St. Catherine in November. The other deceased was identified as 20-year-old Abigail Rowe, a student of the University of Technology. Tony Young, veteran broadcaster Tony T.Y. Young, passed away in August after a battle with kidney disease. Young, who had a decades-long career in media, had been hailed as a true broadcasting pioneer. He started his broadcast career in 1982 at JBC Radio Northeast, which is now Irie FM. He came to national attention when he later transferred to the main station, the now defunct JBC Radio 1 at South Odeon Avenue in Kingston. While there, he teamed with Marlene Stevenson Daly in the early morning slot on radio. Samir Yunis One of Jamaica's most distinguished business leaders, Samir Yunis died in September at the age of 77. He had been battling illness for several years before his death. He served as president of the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce in 1986 to 1991 and as president of the Jamaica Manufacturers Association from 1996 to 2000. He was a leading voice for the business community and was honored by the government in 2013 with the Order of Jamaica. Edward Zaka Former Chief Justice of Jamaica Sir Edward Zaka died in November after ailing for some time. He was 88 years old. Zaka was sworn in as Chief Justice of Jamaica by Sir Flores L. Glasspool at King's House on the 2nd of January 1985. On September 1st, 1992, he became the fourth Caribbean Chief Justice to be appointed to the Privy Council and the first from Jamaica. Sir Edward was knighted by Britain's Queen Elizabeth II in 2015. Ziggy Soul Reggae and gospel artist Fabian Zigisol Arnold died in December after a long battle with illness. A protege of reggae legend Bob Marley, Zigisol was a member of the group Earth Disciples before launching his solo career in 1988. He became a Christian in 1995 and switched to gospel. He is known for singles such as Sing It Out, Trust in the Lord and Hosanna in the Highest. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying until next time. Walk good, my friends.